Welcome to Around the Reel with your hosts, Aaron Carlson, Charles Lawson, and Samantha Hanna. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Check, check, check. Sounds good, everybody. How many chins can you do? Like four. Mm. Four. Four chins? Yeah, four chins. I got oh, one. Hi. I got one chin. There he is. I got one chin, I think. <laughs> You got hey one. guys. Hey, What's we're up? seeing how many chins we got. Yeah. When we, you know, when you do this? Yeah. Dude, I don't have any of them. <laughs> You're cheating. I don't have any other chins. Like, I, don't, I don't think black I people can have more than one chin. I don't have chin. any other chins. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tim. Hi. How's, Hi. How's, how's the morning going? Good. How about you? I'm doing great. Thanks Good. for having me on. Oh, yeah. how are you? Yeah. Thanks Excited for to be on. here. Yes, yeah, thank thanks you. for watching my movie. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, Super we're gonna. Have, you watched it? Yeah. We're gonna have fun you talking about it. You see it back? You see it? It's right there. Man, baby, bro. It's a little fuzzy on. Yeah, it's a little fuzzy, screen, but still. It's, it's, oh yeah, you got it's your there. cards, right? Yep. Yes, yep. we did. Thank you. Sweet. Yeah. 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 Awesome. I, so when I was gonna come in last week, I was gonna bring you a whole poster. Oh shit! See, I fucked that up, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, COVID, was, COVID yeah. fucks everyone. Yeah. Well, it, sick, he didn't have COVID. He I was did. a sick boy. Yeah, yeah I was just sick boy sick. finally. Yeah. Yeah. I no, have, we were both sick, but we had two completely different things. Yeah. yeah. Sam had diarrhea. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> oh, I, was, I appreciate it. I had. I was, <laughs> you're welcome. And I had snot nose. Bad. I was just going to say, Aaron had a sinus infection and Sam had Aaron. So, you know, they're both sick. Yeah, yeah. it's both. I pretty much had diarrhea. Yeah, coming see, out of every I always have diarrhea. Aaron, I got you. I'm actually, I'm actually not sick for once, and we're still talking about shit. No, it's bad, yeah. though. Oh, yeah. I'm still popping my ears. Like, I was doing it last night when we were filming. I just can't stop. Like, my ears get plugged up, so I grab my nose like this, and I go, and it goes pop, pop. But one time, I'm like on my left side, it goes, it does all this weird shit. It's yeah. weird. Do you, get, do you get dizzy? Oh, yeah. Dude, my equilibrium gets all fucked up. And then I'm like, whoa, yeah. crap. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. It's where I get a doctor, but I don't, I don't like them doctors. I don't even. Anyway, yeah, poops a good poops a good lead in to man baby for sure. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. definitely right. <laughs> definite poop in there. You ain't kidding, Tim. You ain't kidding. I, um, I gotta admit funny. though, I mean, I'm a little conflicted. Last night was a long night for me too. I mean, last night I actually killed my daughter and I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, so we had fun. He's not kidding. Either. So yeah, so oh my god. I mean, and there was there was hundreds, literally hundreds of witnesses, and they all just applauded. Yeah, I mean, we had a just blast. What they, it's just what they do. Yeah, Tim, we were shooting our movie last night, first night. Uh, uh, doing our final chapter of our little series on YouTube, and uh, I love making the movies, man. Oh, man. I fucking love it. It was so much fun, and we had a bar across the street from where we were shooting. The whole bar saw us upstairs in the building across the street filming, and they all engaged with us, and they actually are now in the movie. It's nice. fucking cool. And they the didn't call 911. That was the other no, good part. No, and we're doing a Michael Myers <laughs> movie, so they saw Michael and their shit, so, and they're like, oh, fuck. So wait, so to, so to clarify, they engaged in a sense, like, they thought you were really... Committing a murder and somebody ran over? Oh, well, no. No, the fun <laughs> thing is... People ran over to get a closer look. Yeah, they wanted to see okay, Michael. Okay. But then they knew we, we were filming. Yeah, we one of our other filmmakers we're working with ran across the street, talked to the bar owner and talked to them, and they were all, fuck yeah, we'll be in it. So we yeah. got a cool shot from like across the street through the bar up to the window where we're filming upstairs across the street where this kill is going to happen. And we got oh, like all these cool. fucking extras. It's fucking that's cool. awesome. It's great. It was great. Yeah, that's really cool. You always hear those stories about, you know, people who, you know, have, have guns or, or, you know, I got a friend of mine had a story about he, he popped out of a dumpster with a, with a fake gun. Okay. And almost got shot. This is like, oh, tw- sure. this is like 20, this is like 20 years ago. This sure. Pre nine 11. Uh, California, and he popped out of a dumpster, and there were like cops all around him. Oh no! He, and he, was he like, almost uh, died. You know, he yeah. he always he said that it was you know he saw his whole life flash before his eyes. I bet that, rem- like- that reminds me of Aaron walking down the street with his kids. With they all had army gear on and <laughs> big huge guns. Yeah, like BB guns, but they were guns. And then he would wonder why the cops would come. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gee, uh, the neighbors were like, um, "There's people walking down my street with assault rifles." But but I'm carrying yeah. I'm carrying a yeah. camera and the gun. It's, it's like, you come were, on, guys. Yeah. The, and you're walking the, into the woods with children. Oh yeah, with the kids too. The camera was weird. concealed. Ooh. And my yeah. kids are all half black, so most of them look white, and they're walking with me into the woods. It's not good, Tim. It's a bad situation. <laughs> Yeah. It never works. It never works. yeah, this guy was like an old. This was an old guy with a long white beard. So he and he was white. So oh he was, no! He was <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, he was super. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Beard. He got the warning before they started. <laughs> he got the right. warning. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He got the Thank warning. Thank God, because yeah. 
That could have been all bad. That's so yes. funny. Had yes. Aaron popped out of that dumpster. My, I, they would have just <laughs> shot my ass and shut dead. the lid. No, that would questions, have been it. Questions later. <laughs> yep. mm-hmm. You'd see my body rolling around like a, a weekend at Bernie's in the back of the garbage truck, just rolling around. <laughs> they wouldn't give a shit. That's all funny. right. Well, all right, guys. Welcome to Around the Real. Welcome to Around the Real. Welcome to Around the Real. Um, I'm going to give a shot at Tim's name here. Oh, okay. last name. Because there's, there's a couple ways you could probably say it. But I'm thinking of like, this is the office space reference. The, you know, the Bob Slidell. Oh. I'm going to go Tim Lydell. Yeah, perfect. Boom! Oh! I did it. Oh, First wow. try. Lytel. 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 Okay. Yeah. And, okay. and, and, and you blew out our ears when you did it too. Oh, sorry. With the boom. Sorry about that. Yeah. I was just excited because that's the name game here. Um, I always get names bad. I'm, yeah, I'm really we bad. try hard, but you know, sometimes we mess them up real bad. Yeah, especially me. I suck. But anyway. All right. So, Tim. Thanks for joining us, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yes. I really appreciate it. I'm glad I it like worked sh- out. I like the show. I, Thank I, you. I'm a listener, I'm a I'm a fan. I'm a little starstruck. Oh <laughs> shit. Oh, oh no. that's super nice of you. <laughs> yeah. So fun. So we fun. should be starstruck. Hell yeah, dude. Your movie. It was great. Yeah. It was great. No, I'm not gonna lie, Tim. I did not get a chance to watch it. When I sat down to try and watch it on a Thursday, it kept telling me my code was ex- the code was expired. So it wouldn't oh, be. Oh, so yeah. so I'll, I'll, I'll get you a new code. I'll yeah. get you a new code. So, Chuck didn't get to see it. And I knew that. So I was like, I you should have just had me ask him. I would ask him for another one for you, Chuck. Yeah. I realized but, that, but by the time I was like, Oh, I have a couple yeah. hours here on Thursday. Because after that couple hours, it was like, Oh shit, we're filming, we have podcasts, we have all these things going on this week. <laughs> yeah, we do have a lot yeah, going on. Yeah, it's hectic. It's hectic. But Sam and I got it. We, 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 we watched did. it. We watched yeah. it. So yeah. we, we can chat about it because it's fun. Yeah. Um, but I'm always yeah. interested I, in I talking to filmmakers and what they're doing and how they're doing it. Especially up here. So Especially up here. Now, Tim, tell us, Man Baby, oh, was that your first like full feature or? So it's my first like commercial. Fe- it's my first try to like make something that's going to sell. Okay. That's going to okay. be something that like people are going to watch. Yep. Okay. Um, I made two other features and they're more like video art, um, Ooh. you know, and, and intentionally so. I Like after film school, I made a lot of video art. Um, I have a lot, I've made a lot of movies. There's a lot of my stuff online. A lot of it's anonymous. Um, okay. Man Baby's, Man Baby's my first commercial Where you feature. put your name on it yeah. and you're like, this is me. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. <laughs> no, my, na- my, name, my name's on the other oh, two is it? Okay. actually. Okay. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I have a lot of other stuff that's like way more uh, kind of avant garde, you know, art, art adjacent kind yeah, of movies. Yeah, for sure, which is cool too. Uh, yeah. Absolutely, like I'd love to check out some of that stuff. Too. Oh, oh yeah. wait, so I, I like that term. Hang on a second, art adjacent, which means it's like it's art to some people and offensive to others, or it's art to you yeah, and fuck others. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd yeah. say it's like art to some people, and it's like comedy maybe to other people, or hard to other people, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. 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 Okay. I like avant garde. Yeah. I like that. I word. do. I, I always like, love that's that word. I thought I you were going to say because that yeah. was my favorite word. I've never think I've sense. used that in a sentence. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Probably because cool. if you were texting, it'd probably keep kind of spell checking because nobody, not even your talk to text or anything would know what that word is. No, I couldn't do it. Who, no. Nobody uses that word, Aaron. Yeah, I know. My <laughs> no, phone's not that smart either. because it's a super smart word. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be super smart to use that word. You know, Aaron will yeah. type out avant garde. Is it French? I guess it's French, right? I don't know. I think is so. it? It sounds French. It sounds French or Italian. Yeah. I don't know. You're Don't super smart. <laughs> We're not smart yeah. like that. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> barely speak English some days. This is brutal. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So this is cool. Okay, so we were we were in the same boat. We we did movies the same way you did. We've been yeah. making them for a long time. Nothing really artistic, just us trying to learn the process. Yeah. Um, but in 2018, our first commercial movie we put out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, 2019, but we filmed it in 2018. You know. Correct. Anyway, um, so we're in the same boat. We've been doing this for 20 years, you know, trying to learn yeah. this process. And same here. Same here. All right. Oh, so, okay. we, 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 so we know what we're doing here. Oh, yeah. We're just, we just. I'd say, and I be, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I, you know, I've been making movies since I was like three. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's awesome. It's, it's something I've been doing. I, in fact, uh, you know, somebody on one of these things, they were asking me about it and it was like, that's my first memory of like being disappointed about making a movie too. I, I was making a uh, He-Man. I was shooting my He-Man action figures with my yes. dad. Oh, my dad's eight. <laughs> Eight and millimeter masters camera. of the universe. Okay. Yes. Okay. Masters of the universe. And uh, and it didn't look like the commercial. <laughs> oh. Surprise, surprise. Oh. And I was so disappointed. And you were pissed yeah. it's oh. kind of, it's a, <laughs> Ever since you've been trying to <laughs> make yeah, it look yeah. right. Yeah, I mean, it's, I, I don't know, if, Aaron, do you have that, that feeling too? Like, do you, like, th- there's like the movie in your head, yeah. right? Yep. And then it's like, what can you, 
actually create and there's always there's oh, God, always yeah. this gap you know mm -hmm. there I mean? is every, yeah. every this is an time. ongoing like dilemma for us yes yeah because aaron's brain goes places that you know cameras can't really go <laughs> sometimes sometimes are there things that I, you know or we, we don't have do. the 10 million dollar budget or... yeah right yeah right. Usually it's Aaron's usually trick, budget yeah. stuff yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I hear you because even even if we're doing a simple OTS with 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 you know like you're supposed to in a dialogue mm -hmm. for some reason in my brain it still looks different than when we shoot it yeah yeah you know yeah. what I mean and it, and I know I that's we did it I mean I know it works yeah. but why is it not the same it's but like th you but can't... then when you get it when then, then when you get it though isn't that an amazing feel because oh, there are those times when it's like holy shit like yes. yeah I just I did it you yes. know yeah. and it's like and there's some of that in man baby like a lot a lot of man baby I'm like oh gosh like you know this is not really what I wanted right but then every now and then there are these things that we that we did when it's like yeah like yeah. this is for, you know kind of like the bar thing you were talking about last night I guess absolutely when yeah, shit just happens feeling. yeah well let me ask you then uh magic, uh, the magic, magic yeah it is a magic <laughs> it is so, so man baby is a very unique story yes and i like unique you know what i mean you don't see that very often that's what's cool about indie films we can we can do things that a studio would never give us a chance to do right yeah. which is mm -hmm. which is the advantage i think sometimes so mm -hmm. with a unique story like man baby I, I would like to know where did this originate from how did you come up with this idea yeah well, I used to, so I used to make uh, adult movies. Oh, uh, shit, you did? That was okay. my job, yeah. Oh, oh. no, we got to talk about that. That's fun. That is yeah, fun. Yeah, pretty, <laughs> that is I fun. love that. I, I, we want to know about all about, about that. I I'm, I'm a fan. <laughs> I have, I'm a fan. <laughs> I have spent the last three movies telling people, no, it's not that kind of film production company. I know, they said that all our whole lives. Okay, so, okay, so adult films. Okay, so continue. Yeah, so I was working in kind of adult entertainment, um, and, and not the kind of adult entertainment, I mean, not, not mainstream stream adult entertainment so more like fetish uh oh, okay. fetish okay. femdom oriented Ooh, uh, dark different, dark net different. type stuff even better <laughs> some, some some darker stuff for sure just some fun stuff uh nothing okay. too dark but the biggest sellers uh for where i was what i was doing the biggest sellers were the the abdl is what it's called diaper lover adult baby Interesting. That, was, that, was, that okay. was a huge market. No oh, shit. Why did I know what that was when Wait, he said it? There's a comedian that there's a comedian that talks about that. That's uh, Sebastian Montescalo. Sebastian, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can go online and find uh, what like 897 people that want to dress up like a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, I mean even beyond like adult entertainment, it's 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 pretty viral. Like there was like a My Strange Addiction that oh, got yeah. you know millions and millions of YouTube views. Yeah. It's a pretty it, it's a pretty like important niche thing and i knew there were i knew there were people that were into it i knew there was this audience i knew it would have a um a built-in audience yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the idea that's I, I i wanted something yeah it's like you can you know you can make uh, an art movie and no one's gonna see it but i knew that i could make an art movie and maybe people would see it because it had this kind of hook yeah it's got, you know a guy in a diaper is kind of the hook yeah yeah so that's that, that's where it comes from um interesting you know. very creative um, and clever no, it's fine. i started i started writing it and it took about a year to write and wow. um I, the idea was kind of like make an exploitation movie so make okay. like and and there's there's a bunch of like adult well maybe not a bunch but there's a few that I'm aware of that are like adult baby exploitation movies. Okay. And as I'm writing it, it's just like, I couldn't do like a, like a real exploitation movie. I couldn't I, like, it's just not like in me. I, I was still trying to like cram all these kind of more artistic things yeah. about like family and relationships and right. love. And so, you know, some of the original versions of the script are, are just like real long and just not, you know, we really kind of cut it down. And so, it's funny that you say that like this, you know, it, it's not a Hollywood movie at all, obviously, by the by the way it's made. But but I would argue that the the script is actually kind of like it is kind of a Hollywood script. Like it's very like character driven. Uh, yeah. Like I think that the three act structure is like very, very strong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you could t you could take this script against like the Sid Field book and and go, you know, beat for beat like this. This is a Hollywood mainstream script. Screenplay. It's just yeah. a kind of. It's just weird characters it's just and a unique weird situations. Story. It's yes. unique, yeah. yeah. Well, I yeah. disagree with you. I disagree with you, Tim, on that because I think it was well made. I yeah, think it, it was is. really Absolutely. well made. I mean, it was Hollywood quality, well made. It Thank was. You. Thank it you. It wow. really was. That's, I've yeah. seen I've seen Hollywood movies that are that are like yeah. way not not yeah. up to your level. So 
I thought Not it was. That. I mean, I really thought it was. I agree. Yeah, yeah. production value was yeah, it was, was great. fantastic. It was I great. mean, it, it looks good. It sounds good. The it acting's does. good. I mm-hmm. mean, the story is unique and fun. I mean, it's yeah. great. Dude. And to pull off really a comedy, Fuck yeah, to pull dude. off a comedy is actually like we won't even touch a comedy because that's so hard it's a tough like, one not yet we're not there yet nope. but for you to jump in on a comedy that's amazing like, yeah. excuse really me I'd like to that. remind everybody really that I would that. like to touch everything <laughs> yeah, do do yeah. yeah I licked it it's mine we all know Chuck <laughs> 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 no but I mean honestly like much respect for you because you jumped in with a comedy which is um, ballsy <laughs> like yeah, you're is. ballsy as hell yeah, definitely oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah thank no, you very much. cheers I really to you. That. Cheers to you. So, is comedy yeah. is comedy one of your favorite genres? I do. I, I love a comedy. Okay. Um, you know, I would say sci fi comedy, uh, you know, when I'm, I, I would say my, you know, top 10 movies of all time, Back to the Future is kind of, Boom. you know, my, there my, you uh, Pinnacle, pinnacle movie. <laughs> that's our daughter. Our daughter's favorite. Love yeah. that. Yeah. It's great. Um, yeah. Dude, that's great. But your production is fantastic. It, it really is. It is good, yeah. Well, thank you. I mean, we had a very, very limited budget. I, again, like, I have that uh, that disappointment of, like, it doesn't look the way that I want it to look. But, but uh, you know, yes, I, I do appreciate that. That makes me feel really good. Because we did work really hard on this. You mm-hmm. know, this yeah. is, this is eight years in the making. You can tell. Um, and it's, you know... It's not just uh, it's not just low budget, you know. For that, it's like if you don't have a lot of money, you do have a lot of time. And so right. we really did take our time and really like every everything about the movie. Like, there's nothing in this movie that is um, throwaway. Okay. Like, there's a there's a reason behind everything. So yeah. you, you know every uh, and I know that, that I mean it sounds kind of silly, but it's like I mean really like every cut, every decision. Like we really thought about it. And right. I think, and I think that maybe is what you're getting. Like maybe that's yeah, what you're seeing. Yeah, it shows. Like, yeah, definitely it shows. There's Absolutely. care. There's a yeah. lot of care in this movie. It definitely for sure. shows. Yeah. Yeah. So what what kind of uh, crew did you put together, and how did that go about? Yeah, my crew was uh, people that I had. Well, my my biggest crew person is my producing partner, uh, Joe Camp Joseph Campanelli, okay. who uh, he is the editor and uh, kind of, uh, you know, he's the editor, not just of the movie, but the editor of the script too. Okay. Oh, okay. So like, I so I would write the script and then kick it to him and then he'd like edit it and, and then I'd do, and then I'd write another version. And so we kind we weren't really co-writers because I was like writing it the whole time. It was my idea, mm-hmm. but, um, but he's, he's definitely like the editor of the script. And then he's um, giving me, n- so he's actually not on set either. Um, I, like I'm a on producer. set. I'm directing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of a producer. Like, sorts. Right. Yeah. No, that's yeah, great. Kind of a producer thing. Co- yeah. Co-producer kind of Got person. You. And then Got editing. You. And then he's helping me in post-production. He's editing. So he's like the major, you know, other part of this movie. And then, in terms of crew, um, I had uh, director of photography Rakesh Malik, uh, who was graduating Seattle Film Institute when okay. I hired him, and uh, he's. This was his first feature. Oh so God, he did great. Say like, oh, is this a first? It's. A lot of the crew, it's a first. So, okay. um, you know, for me, it's the third, but for him, it was his first feature. Um, and then we got actually like a lot of SFI students. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, dude. well, I was going to say, yeah, because you came, you you went there, right? Is that where you graduated? I did not. No, oh, you I, didn't? I didn't go where to did SFI. Where did you go to film school no. at? I went to film school at um, Chapman University okay. In, oh, okay. down in Orange. Oh, okay. And then I went to NYU um, before that. So okay. I had two film schools. Interesting. Okay. I was thinking Man, you were going. He's coast to coast, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> fucking film and school. And he's smart. That's right. You he, know got, he got interns. You know, I'm going to go get some students from but that was really smart you know, film to pull. institute and get some free shit. No, that was I really did. Smart. I did. Yeah. I was We've not paying. The, about... I was not paying the SFI kids. I was, I was teaching them though. I, I think yeah. they got something out of it. I mean, a lot of those, a lot of those, uh, a lot of those people are probably, you know, more, have better industry jobs than I do for sure. <laughs> well, mean, yeah, at this point, probably. Now. Yeah, yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I think they learned a lot on my set. They yeah. learned, you know, I'm sure they did. How to, how to, <laughs> how, to how to get people to work for free. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> they learned that. Uh, I'm always kind of um, jealous of like people who go to the film school, but then I'm like, I don't know if I'd want to do it though. You know, like, every time someone says they went to film school, I'm like, oh, you lucky bastard, because you probably can pick up some stuff that. Is I, I in a different lucky. way. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then like, I feel, for, and I learn everything from fucking YouTube well, and film writing. If it's, and Google. If it's anything Google. like bartending school. <laughs> Google, yeah. 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 <laughs> I know, mean, no one wants anyone, 
if you're if you are at a bar or you own a bar, you never want anyone that came from bartending school. Oh no, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Because you're like, they teach you, like, you have to unteach those people because they learn, like, such weird things. Well, okay, well, that's interesting. Okay, so since you did go to film school, I don't think we've asked this question to anybody. No, is, we haven't. Is, is the techniques that you learned there and the things that you were taught helpful in your productions that so far? Uh, de definitely. Okay, yeah, okay. 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 All right. okay, so it's not like bartending school. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely film school. I'm I'm very very grateful for my education. Like I, like yeah. I have I have to be very very grateful. And uh, the other side of that coin is that you you do not need film school. Film school is not that important. And in a lot of ways, it is way more important to just go do the thing. To make right, the to have the experience. And that's what I, bartending I is all yeah. about, too. They want you to yeah. have experience, not school. But and I think that's true for almost anything. I mean, yeah, pro probably right. aside from like brain surgery. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, <laughs> Please be. <laughs> Please go to school. <laughs> And you know, and you know, even I don't know, like some, like we were talking about doctors. Like sometimes I'm just kind of like, Ugh, I, I know, know. I, yeah. I I'm very skeptical of uh, you know institutional learning. Yes, and that me sort too. Of thing. Very me skeptical, too. especially so. when it comes to psychology. Excuse me if I say this, but and I don't mean to offend anyone who's in psychology, but literally, like if you're just book psychology, no, <laughs> you yeah. don't know shit. Yeah, yeah. But if you've been through some shit, now you know shit. So it's almost like I'd rather have my psychologist or my person to help it's, me be sure. like um, experienced in life instead of experienced in books. Yeah, it's like and that's what, kind of yeah. I think what it comes down to absolutely because you, you can't teach. There's so much that you can't teach that comes with experience, and that's I think what the point is. Yeah, yeah. What did George Carlin yeah. say back in the day? He said uh, a lot. So some, somewhere <laughs> out there is the worst doctor. <laughs> yeah, true. and if you think about it, it's true. It like is the true. worst doctor, yeah. what, how, and someone's got an appointment with him tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah. it can be it can be a plus in so many ways because I'm sure you learn things that you don't learn with experience that you have already a jump on on the rest of. Yeah, that's with. what I'm thinking. Film school can do for you. Like yeah, you, you do get start, a little yeah. bit of head start on a lot of things. Like I'm sure when you get to set, you have this idea in your head of how to run the set you know what everybody's doing the different positions that are there and then kind of go into all the other things especially when it comes to like setting up a shot you know i mean right. yeah. i remember when we first did it with no film school we we're like i think this will work but we didn't even know what a fucking 180 rule was we had no idea right you know i had to sure. google that shit like i hear people saying the 180 rule what <laughs> well, is that <laughs> well naturally we, never did we started doing listing. it but, yeah. no no none of that stuff of so that. yeah i'm sure yeah. it helped you there yeah I mean, I think I think in general, like not just film school, like like again, kind of going back to your point, Sam, for like institutional learning, like the the, the benefit of it is like meeting people. Actually, yeah, yeah. I got you. Like, if you're in film school, you're meeting other people who are interested in film, and you're yes. and you're, you're you're in the same ether or whatever. You're right. meeting, you're getting ideas. Yeah, that's super helpful, right? Yeah. Like like Joe, like I met him in film school. Like a lot of my best friends, like are people from film school. Yeah. Like, that that I think, because once you once you're out and you're an adult and you're trying to do these these projects, you know, for no money outside of any kind of industrial system, you mm -hmm. have to meet people. Right. Like yeah. Right. You can't you can't just go make them on your own. You know. No and networking I, is a yeah. is so it's important. True. Networking it's is true. huge. I mean that's yeah. that has that has been the biggest lesson I think of my adult life is like, you know, I I had. A, I had big attitude when I was in film school. Like I was gonna do it. I was gonna do it. Yeah, you I were, was gonna do it all. You were that guy. That ass, no, no, no. I was that guy. I was an <laughs> asshole. I mean, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Aaron's an asshole, so he yeah. Yeah, he it. Yeah. Right yeah. I, and I have that. I have that thing still in my head. You know, like, I do too. Like where it's like, oh, I'm. I know best. You know, but yeah. like you got to network. You you don't know best. Like I don't know best. But like, you I know best for your movies. Yeah. You know best for your movies. You know what's in your head, and you kinda, know best. Kinda. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it's it's getting it across to the others so you don't look like an asshole right. I, I know exactly right. what you're saying i get yeah. it yeah. i totally get it and aaron it, right? aaron has a big head but when it comes to like people coming in and giving him ideas and feeding him ideas you know he's open to that which oh, is yeah. i think is so important it's crucial i think we all yeah. are here though yeah. we all are that way i yeah. mean you have to be yeah because we, we all know we don't know everything no and if you, you know want, we, we might have a vision but if you want the best movie possible you have to get other opinions and other mm -hmm. people's takes and other people you know you have yeah. to listen to suggestions and be open to that Fuck otherwise yeah. it's not going to be the best 
Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're yeah. not always we, right. Because there's some gold we, nuggets in there, man. Yeah. There really is. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, we Tim. definitely did that with we definitely did that with Man Baby. You know, nice. we definitely tried to uh, you know get diverse opinions, diverse perspectives. Yeah, incorporate other people's ideas. I hope that works. I hope that shows. Def- oh, oh, absolutely, definitely. dude. Yeah, that's definitely. what I mean. It's 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 fun. So, what what is Man Baby about for the audience that you can do? What, what's your yeah. what's your pitch? Go ahead. The elevator pitch is uh, Man Baby is a story about a comic Sal Howard. Uh, he does a baby act. He's pretty successful at that, and he wants to have kids, and his wife doesn't want to have kids. They That's their struggle in the beginning, and uh, he wants to have kids. She doesn't. She, think, she doesn't think she's going to be a good mom. She wants to concentrate on her career. He comes up with a plan, a, cr- a harebrained scheme. He's going to pretend to be a real baby to get her to enjoy being a mommy. Right. And uh, and then it kind of spirals out of control from there. Good pitch. Yeah, very that, good. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah, you had me at the aspect of anything of a man trying to convince a woman of anything. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a that's a great pitch. It's like yeah, that sounds like life. Yeah, because well, let's, let's let's follow it's the story. It's an honest arc. dilemma. <laughs> and and that's the next thing I wanted to go into because even though the story is super unique, there is a very human element to it, which very is much what so. I like. In very fact, so. the ending is like. Hey, no- hey, hey, you like to always say, you know, the ending, and no, no spoilers. Oh, it's, it's yeah, no, I'm, it's spoil not, I'm not spoiling it, but it just, uh-huh. it, it was almost uh-huh. like The Notebook. You uh-huh. know what I mean? It was. Oh, wow. Okay. It was. Cool. You know what I mean? In, in, cool. in that way, yeah, I was okay, like, I whoa. I love yeah. that. I was like, I it's that. fucking cool, man. No, yeah. because well, I see what you're the story saying. goes in a direction that, you know, the, the normal mainstream films don't. Yes. Sure. And that's what I sure. loved about it, you know, and that's what's cool. And that's that indie feel. I mean, that's that that uh heartbreaking kind of feeling and that's in your movie so it's very human even though it's this the the concept is so wild that's what's cool about it man this is the thing i love so much about it and don't get offended here but at first you started off and you're like oh my god like this is kind of like oh my god she's not a man a man diaper guy yeah (laughs) like this is just oh my god but it keeps you and it keeps you and it keeps you and it keeps like you don't want to stop and that's and then it grabs nice. you, and once it grabs you, then you get a hold of the story and you're into it. Yeah, you're totally into it, and that's when it all gets good. So good right. job on that, great job on that. Because at first you're like, oh my god, what am I watching? <laughs> right. yeah, and then, she's and not, she's not a fetish girl. Yeah, yeah and that's no, how you feel though. You're like, but it's oh cool. my god, what am I watching? And then, but it just keeps you in it. And right? then what? And then you're hooked. And then once you're hooked, like you're in the You ride the it end. out. You yeah. ride it out. <laughs> no, and it's I great. Yeah, I love, love that. that. Yeah, it's, yeah it, that's a gift. You. That's a real gift. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank. You. Yeah, you know, uh, recent reviewer kind of video review um, uh, was saying, uh, you know, oh, by by the end, they kind of they ran out of ideas, wow. and I was, oh, no. and I and I threw up my hands and I said. The end has, is the biggest idea yeah. of all. That's, that's, that's yeah. what I'm the saying, dude. That, it's know, the notebook. And, but that's it the really thing, is. That's the thing about making movies. Not everybody's going to get it. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. we realized that's that with true. The Outrider. That was one of our biggest lessons is not everyone's going to get it. I mean, we yeah, did right. our movie in black and white. It was long. I mean, there was a lot of aspects of it. And we combined so many. It was so very many... avant-garde. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. No, we combined so many genres and stuff that, you know, not everybody got it. And and that's kind of like your movie. Not everyone's going to get it. I think that's yeah. every movie. But, yeah. yeah, definitely those who do are in for a treat because it's a good it's good yeah well, but he did you. but he did that. what i, I liked that, that he, you said tim earlier on was that you know you already knew there was a, a niche audience for mm-hmm. it. you already had that in your head and that's the one thing i think a lot of filmmakers don't think of i know i didn't when i wrote our movie that we released back in 2019 i just had this cool idea for the story and i'm like oh it's gonna be this and that and then when I when it came time to actually sell it, I'm like, okay, who are we going to sell this to? And I was like, Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. this movie's all over the place. <laughs> well, Who's the audience lot, for this? We got you know? a lot of no's just because of the big. black and white. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a black and white supernatural film noir. I mean, what the mm-hmm. fuck? Mm-hmm. And so like Chuck mm-hmm. said, it was our audience is too big. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's all over. Things. I couldn't I couldn't narrow it down, mm-hmm. and, and so we just yeah, put it out. Yeah. But thank God we didn't spend too much money on it. Here's your suspenseful horror faith based. Yeah, it was all over, right? You know, but that's what's cool, man. That's that's why I think what you're doing is going to be it's going to work for you yeah i mean what what is your release strategy for man baby what are you doing yeah yeah so we're coming out uh in just a couple days august 17th in seattle okay um it's it's going to be a big theatrical big screen experience okay. we're going to be in seattle portland and los angeles so oh, it's good just, for you. it's a west coast it's a west coast road show nice and then simultaneously 
we uh w- it's online it's on vimeo for rental okay. so okay that's the strategy we're gonna see how these screenings do um if we can get enough people if y'all can come down from port orchard to ever, you know get everybody who's listening to come down to seattle and watch it Very cool. um the, the more people that come, the more screenings we can do because, yeah. you know, it's... Rentals are expensive. Know. I get it. Yep. yep. Yeah. Rentals are expensive. Right we um, just did that. You know, so we understand. But if we, can, <laughs> if we can do it, we can keep doing it, you yeah. know? So I'm just yeah. I'm just starting starting on the West Coast and hopefully going to build across. I, I, I got a really good feeling about, um, you know, each of these theaters also, it's like a different deal. So like rentals are expensive, true. Yeah. But if you reach out to them and you talk to them, you mm-hmm. can you can make something happen. So yeah, I, that's know, true. And especially if you've got, you know, if you've got this, this thing, you know, man, baby, immediately, you know what you're going to get. Yeah. It's, we have, we, you know, it's something that you can sell. Well, <laughs> yeah, because absolutely. you have a niche, especially if you're bringing a niche right. with you, they definitely are more open to working with you. For well, sure. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. So, so, uh, so I'm from New Orleans actually originally. Oh, really? So got, oh, wow. we're, yeah. We're, we're, uh, real close to maybe having something in, 2023 in New Orleans, like a, another oh, cool, uh, buddy. kind of screening thing. Um, cool. But we'll just have to see what happens. We're yeah. just going to see how the well, West Coast goes. I got to say, good job of getting rid of your accent. You know, the accent's just gone. <laughs> yeah, I never had. I, I mean, you didn't I, you know, really I, I do, catch it? I do sometimes catch it. it. What is know, it, a like disease? I, yeah, it is totally a disease. Like, you catch it. <laughs> catch the accent. <laughs> Get all that, that that French New Orleans accent. You know when you yeah. hang around somebody and they talk a certain way. No, it's just, true. Yeah, yeah, Aaron does it all the time. He yeah, talks I, like I, his kids. I, yeah. I still have a Cubano <laughs> accent because of Scarface from '83. I do. You know what I'm saying, man? You know, that's how I talk sometimes. You know? I can't help it, man. I can't. Why are you looking at me like that, Chuck? Because hey, fuck you, man. Aaron, that's my job. Aaron my job is to look at the about, screen. It's a cult. It's a cult. Hey, it's a cult. If you're around <laughs> Girls like gum. And you pick it up. It's like a cult thing, right, Aaron? You always. It say is that. like a cult. Okay, yeah. well, no, yeah. it's not. It's just if you're around something a lot, that's what you hear. That's what you're fed. So it's that's like the T virus in Resident Evil. It's it just a catches virus. You. Okay. It's, a, it's a disease. <laughs> right, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so are you, so you said you're doing this West Coast thing. So are you, or is it kind of like what Kevin Smith does with his films? Like go and travel and, and yeah, and, yeah. Oh, I'm going to cool. be there. It's a road, it's a road show. Good. So, uh, so Q and A's, yeah. everything after the Q&A's, show. Q and A's, everything. Beautiful. My, my, you know, my dream of dreams was to do it with, um, so, you know, let's go back eight years, turn back the clock. There was originally, you know, Kickstarters for man, baby. And there was a, I did this thing where I did a fake Tim Lytle who was kind of an asshole and he was oh. he was promoting man baby you can okay. you can you can see these videos if you rent the rent man baby on vimeo okay, okay. cool all, right. That's fine. all those all those have now been wiped from the internet I, they're all private <laughs> on youtube because um you know so i want to rent from movie. vimeo guys <laughs> if you want to see the, promote the movie and not <laughs> yeah, uh, I feel not you. uh fake tim lightel but anyway my <laughs> dream of dreams was to have fake Tim go on the road with the movie okay. and do like a like a live show with the movie. I thought that would be really cool, but funny. Maybe a little too avant garde, I think. Uh. <laughs> Today's word is avant garde. <laughs> I love it. After these messages, we'll be right back. Hey guys, Coach Rick here. Welcome to another Coach's Corner. Are you giving a gift? Are you out there on the court, on the field, in the arena, giving what is so unique and precious? I hope so. So I don't even know where I am. If I did the last one before, I was on Around the Reel recently on their Saturday show. And uh, it was awesome. to be able to hang out with the guys, with the gang. Um, And we, you know, as always, got into a lot of different things. And uh, in class tonight, I asked uh, anyone had any requests, ideas for Coach's Corner. I hadn't come up with anything. It reminded me of something we sort of tapped into, and I want to expand on the power of stillness. Now, this is definitely something I tell my actors. I want to go beyond the acting here. This isn't just for actors. Uh, But I do and have often said that one of the actors' superpowers is stillness. And there's just no doubt about it when you're acting on camera 
that stillness can be incredibly powerful. I think, you know, the general audience doesn't necessarily realize that what they're looking at is a very unnatural thing. <laughs> We're typically more animated in life. And we do. We practice moving less and less. Also, you know, depending on the shot, the closer the shot, right? All those, all those things considered, it's important. I want to talk about how it's important for you as an artist. It's important for you as a human being. We have to practice. Now, I should be careful by saying have to. It's like shooting on someone, right? We want to practice. Practice it in your life. It's going to help you in your career, for sure. Even you actors can definitely benefit from it. Stillness. Stopping. Right, taking a moment to pause and just stop and be still. Now, a great thing that goes along with being still is being silent. Right? If you can manage to do those two, that would be very, very powerful. Being still, you want to breathe. Now, okay, we're getting pretty darn close to meditation here, right? It doesn't have to be any more than that. You don't even have to call it something fancy like meditation. Start with being still. And some nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Brian Tracy, who's a very big name in the personal development world, says that we should practice silence. Well, and again, you know, the flip side of silence is the stillness. That you just have to give yourself space to receive the answer when there is something that you need to deal with, when there is something that you need to figure out, when there, whatever. Practice being silent which I think is great it makes it a very accessible way it's, it's not as scary or as intimidating as, as meditation I am no expert by any stretch of the imagination what I've seen for the most part is that many if not most meditation techniques involve breathing there's patterns of breath and different ways of breathing and all that stuff all I'm saying is stop allow yourself to be still and just breathe that's it you want to light a candle you want to light incense by all means you know do whatever you want I don't even want to think about lighting a candle now be careful where you do it if you're too comfortable you might fall asleep I'm good at that one too. But when you practice being silent, when you practice being still, stuff is going to start to happen. And I can't tell you what, because it's going to be different, but I promise you, you will start to notice. Maybe not immediately. Coach said it was a good idea. Coach said it was, try it. Try it on. Uh, I promise you that if you practice being still, it will be as powerful as going to the gym to work out on a regular basis. I am, you know, really working very hard not to like go too deep into all the good stuff that's happening, <laughs> all the brain chemistry, all the so much of what we do and so much of how everything is set up right now is noise. There's a lot of noise in our world, and we put a lot. We put these headphones in, right, and we get stuff going. I take the dog for a walk. I'm going to listen to something, and I have purposefully not put them in so I can just walk in silence. Not a very still silence since I'm walking. Still, nonetheless. When's the last time you drove with the radio off in your car? I've been doing that a lot more. 
I got an hour drive to my Thursday class. There, an hour there and an hour back. More often than not, I have it off. Give it a shot. Not very exciting. I know. But very powerful. That, I promise you. And maybe we can get into this a little more later. Maybe we can do a follow-up uh, as I move around and stuff like that. I'm getting comfortable in my chair. Give it a shot. You won't go wrong. Uh, but just be patient with it. It's good. It's good for you. It's just good for all of you, physically, emotionally, mentally. Stop, be still, be silent. Take care, you guys. God bless. Peace. I want to ask Thanks. you about something Thanks. that you tapped into about budget. I want to talk about how, like, for us, I don't know if you're in the same, like, mindset, but when it comes to budget, it's hard because you can't always get the budget you want to make the shit you want, mm -hmm. like you were saying. And yeah. we kind of turned it into kind of a challenge where we try to see what we can make with as little of money as possible. That's like never the goal. It just happens to be well, the way we work. And, yeah. we, and I mean, we try to prove to people <laughs> that you can make something amazing uh, with, with great quality. Nothing. Yeah. Especially nowadays with the technology that's out there. Because we've kind of learned how to yeah. how to work those hoops and make yeah. something with not, out of nothing. Mm -hmm. So do you find that... You're trying to do more of that, or are you trying to do more of trying to figure out how to get the money and the funding to do the um, bigger things? I mean, I, for the last eight years for Man Baby, I've just been being creative. Like I've just been making creative decisions. I haven't really even thought about money because okay. it's all like we shot it all, and so it's all been in the computer. So it's mm -hmm. like the the money was my time. You know, I yeah. could yeah. I could have I yeah. could have been working more mm -hmm. and making more money that way. So yeah. I, there is a um, the sacrifice. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah, a sacrifice. Yeah. For my, for whatever I do next, like yes, that is a huge concern. Like I, you know, I spent too much of my own money on Man Baby for yeah. sure, and I would love to figure out how to start using other people's money to find things. <laughs> right, I, people that have it. And, yeah, and there and there is a way, like mm -hmm. you know, because people are doing it. Um, but I haven't cracked that nut yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, trying to figure it out. Maybe one day I will. Maybe. Yeah. Well, we're trying. Well, we're still trying to figure it out well, too. Uh, from yeah, what I understand, when it gets, comes to getting money from other people, you don't crack the nut; you cup the cup the balls. <laughs> oh, you Sorry. cup? Yeah, you gotta cup those you balls. Be, you gotta be gentle. Yeah. yeah, and and definitely yeah. purse the lips. Yep. Cup the balls. <laughs> and he would know. He used to do adult films. That's right. Yeah, he right. would know. Yeah. Definitely have some experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My dad always said his dream job would have been a, to have been a fluffer back in the day. Oh yeah, you're oh, a <laughs> fluffer. Yeah. Your dad is. Uh, no I never did. I never was a fluffer. You never, you were never. I never a fluffer? participated in that. I, I mean, I participated. <laughs> I definitely acted and you know right. ca did camera and did <laughs> different things. So can so, you, um, if you're a fluffer on both though, sides of it. Yeah, if you're a fluffer sides though, of it, for sure. It, if you're a fluffer <laughs> sure. though, can what, what happens to you when you're done fluffing? Doesn't that Kind of get you going too. I, I would assume so, but I don't think I don't know if it really like if I was fluffing somebody and I was like, and they're attractive. I'd be like, God damn, now that she's going and doing that, and now yeah, what am I yeah. supposed to do? Just <laughs> sit here. Does anybody want to put the camera on me? Just don't for make a minute? Just, awkward. Just, just don't make awkward eye contact with the talent while they're on screen. I guess not. Right. Yeah, Jesus we Christ. never, I, you know, in anything I did, we never had fluffers. Like I, I guess that was just out of my. Well, out of my a, budget, you, right? You had a lot of <laughs> budget stuff. I'm going to say what no one else would say. I could not film a porno because I'd probably get a boner. <laughs> I don't want to be the cameraman with the boner. Why? What's wrong with Because it's wrong. embarrassing. Why is it embarrassing? Everybody on set has a boner. I'm How do you so know that? I'm a girl I and I don't get do. boners. I don't assume they do. I think they're like pros. They don't get boners when they're filming a porn. You can't see my boner. I know. You're lucky though. I know. Sam. Yeah. yeah. Was, well, you, well, you can barely see mine, not, but I know it's not there. just a paycheck. I mean, you can't. <laughs> I Good point, Aaron. Like you it, can't see yours so. either. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. I try hard. Um, oh my god! That's what was I going to say? Oh, okay. So back to the movie, real quick. Um, <laughs> so for the release strategy, so Wait. you're going to do this tour. You're going to get these, the you know, try to get as many eyes on your film as possible. Um, is there a distribution plan? Because you know, you put a lot of money into this yourself. Yeah. You know, on the back end down the road, if you already have this audience, are you thinking about mm -hmm. streaming platforms, getting it up there I'm, and doing? I am. It? I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. You know, and okay. I, and I'm definitely. I'm. I'm trying to stay kind of in the pilot seat on that. Okay. Like there's okay. a, there's a lot of um, 
There are a lot of l not so reputable companies that oh, I yeah. think would, would love to get a hold of Man Baby. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Um, there's there's a lot of people who, um, yeah yeah. So I'm just I'm just kind of like weighing my options just to see what happens. Um, it's not that I think that Man Baby is so great, but I just think there are a lot of there's a lot of companies that do those kind of like yeah. all platform deals. Yeah. Yeah. And then they just kind of sit on Amazon and I'm not like, I don't really care about that. Like I, I, I kind of want to get... hold on to it for as long sure. as I can and just see what happens. So, um, I get it. I get but, it. But, but, but if the screens and the rentals and like, there's some kind of, you know, I mean, potentially, right. There could be some kind of online, uh, like it could go viral, right. Yes. It could be like a yeah, real, could, yeah. real explosion of this. Mm -hmm. And then I'd be in a, and then I'd be in a better position to say, okay, let's see where we could put it on some other platform. Right. I, well, here's um, the thing. We have some insight into that. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I wanted to go into with him because you, you yeah. seem like a very entrepreneurial type guy, right? I am. Well, okay. I'm very much Okay, so. you wore a tie to the show. It's badass. You know, that's why, and it's a pink tie with a blue shirt. That's Miami it. Vice. That's dope. I love it. <laughs> um, so the thing I'm thinking is, is that the way you've already marketed this thing, I mean, even us getting the package you mailed to us. Yes. Is 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 great. It is. You know, yeah. you're you're it's you're good. you're getting you're getting the word out on your own. So you're you're self distributing this film by yourself already. Essentially, essentially. So yeah. with a platform like let's say Film Hub, it's it's pretty much self distribution anyway. You still own the rights to your film, right? Mm -hmm. You go in there and they have access to all these different streaming platforms. If you're driving your niche audience to Amazon or Tubi TV or Hulu or any of the other platforms that Film Hub works with. And you're still keeping the rights yeah. down the road, you know, that might be something you could do. And that's why I like mm. that platform yeah. so much because yeah, we you went, don't, that's you're not we working went. with a, dis, uh, a straight distribu distribution uh -huh. company mm -hmm. that, you know, it's going to lock your film for seven, 10 years or whatever their contract right, is. Right. Yeah. And you lose the rights, they change the name of your fucking movie, you know, or whatever, yeah. and then they throw it out there. I mean, yeah. you're already marketing this thing. So if you get it on a specific platform and keep pushing it like you're doing now, I, I think you'd be fine. Yeah. I think you would. Yeah. I and would definitely, called? I would highly the, recommend the, Film Hub. Film Hub. Film Hub. Yeah, Film, film Hub. Hub. It's, it's a marketplace for indie filmmakers. So basically, okay. and it's all online, you basically uh -huh. upload your film um, uh, and hit all the assets that they require, pass the QC process, and then your film's up there. And then it just kind of, you wait it out, you know? And mm -hmm. we just, mm -hmm. our film is up there right now. Yeah. And Tubi mm -hmm. TV mm -hmm. just picked up the, our, our documentary. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Free Movies Plus did, which is on Roku and Apple TV. And, you know, after about a year, you start getting on all these platforms. Yeah. You can right. pull your movie anytime you want. If you uh -huh. don't want it up uh -huh. there anymore, you can take it. Yeah. You know, there's nothing that's going to stop you from doing what you want to do with your film. But while it's on these platforms and you're driving the audience to those places, yeah. you know, that's where that revenue comes in. But all these, different, yeah, all these different apps and all these different places, they look at Film Hub for their movies. So they, yes. for their content. So they pick... Sure their content from yeah. Film Hub, basically. They grab whatever, you know, they want yes. from there. It's like and a library. And so people will grab your movie, whoever, you know, feels it's good for their- Their platform. Their platform, mm -hmm. they'll grab mm -hmm. it, and then it goes from there, but they do that work. Mm -hmm. And that's and are you what getting, I like. And are you getting paid per click or per retention? So or it, depends on, it depends on if you're doing like, it's ad revenue based the and then or whatever. Like, I don't know yeah. all the letters, yeah. but AVOD. So they're running like on Tubi, Tubi's free, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So well, that's... it depends. Yeah. If Tubi's ad based, so you get paid off yeah. Tubi yes. for the ads. So it's for AVOD their, for the ads they advertising. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And they pay, they pay decently per hour stream per hour yes per hour stream yes yeah. and 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 amazon prime used to be great for filmmakers right you know Not but anymore. now they're Not down so if you if your customer engagement retention is super low uh -huh. you know you might get paid a penny an hour on amazon right. unless right. they're buying or, or selling i think they go 50 50 so if you buy a rent whatever well, that, that is but what we did amazon's kind of pushed away with the outrider, with the outrider yeah. yeah but Mm -hmm. You know, the more platforms you're on, the more opportunity you have. I've yes. heard filmmakers. I've heard filmmakers who go through Film Hub, you know, and on Tubi TV they're averaging, you know, maybe five hundred thousand dollars a month. But you know, on wow. iTunes, that all of a sudden, for some reason, iTunes they made like ten grand wow. in the month. And you're like, holy shit! And vice versa. So you don't know where your audience is going to watch your film. Yeah. So the mm -hmm. more platforms you on, you're kind of given an opportunity for everybody everywhere to see mm -hmm. this thing which yeah. is cool and as long as That's you're cool. if you're driving those audiences and you're putting in that work with mm -hmm. your entrepreneurial mindset you have I which think you, you are yeah you'd be dope man yeah. I think you yeah. could do it yeah so, so Film Hub is look definitely up. look yeah. them up 
it's definitely an avenue that you want to check out. Yeah. Film Hub. Yeah, yeah definitely. Film Hub. definitely. Today's yeah. episode of Around the Reel is brought to you by Film Hub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, we, no, but I mean, it's a great place for indie filmmakers to go yeah, with and, their and, films. And, and keep your rights. Yeah. Keep your yeah. rights. Yeah. Yeah. Keep your rights. I, I, yeah. As often I as you can. I didn't know about it. I didn't know about it. I love it. I love it. I love Tubi. I, I, um, you can make some mine, money on Tubi, bro. Yeah. I'm, I, that's exciting. A friend of mine's got a movie coming out on TV, I think, next week, or maybe even it's out. Shark, it's called Shark Side of the Moon. Oh, dope. <gasps> shark movie? <laughs> it's one it. of those shark <laughs> movies. Yeah, yeah. badass. Yeah. Oh, coming out on TV. Oh my so God. I want, my son in law will love that. Oh, yeah, you will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the, you know, the asylum, and they crank okay. out just a ton of those okay, movies. Yeah. And I guess they're they're probably doing what you're describing. It's like they're just cranking them out and then running them on Tubi and, and taking mm-hmm, that revenue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You take the revenue every mm-hmm. month. I mean, and that shit will hit. You know, it does. It does yeah. all the time. These movies do. Interesting. Yeah. Your movie fits right in there, brother. Self-distribution is you. actually, it's so hard. It's so hard. But we, we ended up trying that first without with the outrider with amazon yeah and um you know it worked out great like we got this big rush of like people that yeah. watched mm-hmm. it but then we figured out oh that was a shame because we only got paid pennies for that yeah so through like, amazon yeah. at the beginning because that was mm-hmm. the only platform we were on because i i specifically put uh outrider just on amazon myself yeah Mm -hmm. which was the bummer and all those analytics i could not use when we finally moved the movie to film hub Mm. so So and and those analytics help 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 sell it on film hub to other platforms so by the time we did get outrider on film hub yes we did get another bump but it didn't last very long because the movie had been out a year or so already right so i mean the shelf life was so, so we, the lesson we, kind of we learned is that's don't, we learned. don't don't try to self distribute just to one film platform love or, or yeah Amazon. go with a distributor because yeah. they'll help you distribute it to many platforms yes or a and lot film of hub is that yeah. and film hub is that platform yes. that is is a distribution nice. company but they call themselves a marketplace. Right, mm-hmm. right, and you're not. There is no contract. Yeah, there's nothing. Right. Which like is that. what's great about them. Yeah, it's fucking and I cool. hope that doesn't change. No, me too. Me too. And they're getting Knock more. I mean, they're, they've got to deal with Redbox Knock now. They got another one with uh, Apple TV. I mean, they're all over the place. Yeah. So. yeah. It's good. You should look them up. It, they're yeah, growing. We're growing. We're all excited here. We're yeah. going to end up yeah. making a porno soon. Yeah. Yeah. We're all growing. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. I, I only say that because your film is, is it. it's well made, and, it and well you already made. have a niche audience for it. Yes, and and you seem like the type of guy that knows how to to sell something. So for sure, that, that's I like your, to think so. Business. I yeah. like to think so. No, you're you're great. You're, you're good great. at it. You're good at it, man. Um, that's cool. All right. Well, see, we can help people sometimes. All right. That, that, no, that Stop is acting like we're I hope we're helpful. <laughs> That that's, is very helpful. That's what the show that's is for. We're, we're helping people. I hope we're so. We're trying well, to help people. While learning from all these people. <laughs> that's that's yeah. true, too. Yeah. I mean, the one, the one, my, like, you know, the thing that I had in my head, you know, as we're, as we're finishing up, you know, a couple months ago and, and we're finishing up and I'm, or that was, you know, almost a year ago now, uh, we're finishing up and I'm like, oh, like, it's just gonna, if it just dies on Amazon, like, that's what I didn't want. Sure. You know? yeah. Like, that's why I'm, I'm so grateful we're doing these screenings. I'm so grateful that we negotiated, you know, these good, you know, down in L.A., you know, mm-hmm. it, like, um, you know, that's going to be August 26 and 27. And it's okay. a Friday and Saturday night in Los Angeles. It's nice. a late show, 930, Dope. which I think is great for this movie. Like, this, yeah. is, a, this is a midnight movie. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, so I think that's going to be really cool. I'm just I'm so excited that people get to see it on a big screen as yeah. opposed to just on a computer for sure um because i also think like when we were editing it you know i wasn't just looking at a computer like we go cuts i'd proje- you know i'd project it like, oh, on my shit, projector okay. i really make sure that you know like i said every everything is really thought out in this movie you and so tell. yeah it makes me have just so much gratitude that um that people can see it and people can see it in different ways and where it's not just going to languish on uh Amazon or something. Yeah, where, right, you know, right, yeah, right. Yeah, where it's just gonna sit there and yeah, collect pennies. Sits there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, I don't blame you with that. No, um, I don't. Collect that, pennies. That's, that's, so yeah, I, yeah, so I appreciate happen. this film, this this uh, fil- film hub. Yeah, I'll send you yeah, a link to. Hub, I'll yeah. send it to you after we'll the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I you can just ch- you research it yourself. Check it out. Um, if, if you want more information, I have another. Uh, we have another filmmaker that we speak with all the time. He's a mentor of ours. He's been doing movies forever. He's got like sixty plus titles out Jay there Horton, on the planet. Yeah. yeah, makes 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 a living making movies. Yeah. On the oh yeah, level. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he, Jay he's, Horton. Yeah, yes, Jay, yes. He, he's a you film know, hub yeah. guy. Yeah. Um, he doesn't yeah. know me, but I know him. Yeah. Okay. okay so yeah. You, if you know Jay Horton, <laughs> he, he gets that a lot. Yeah. yeah he does get that. Yes. Yeah, exactly. He 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 does a good job with with getting his movies out there and and making right. money off these things. He's an amazing mentor yeah. when it comes to people that are just getting out there trying to. 
do yep. films. And his budgets yeah, are indie, anywhere yeah. from, you know, a couple hundred bucks all the way up to 250 grand, depending on what they are from documentaries to narratives and, you know, Film Hub. Majority of his films go there. And yeah. Right. That right. income yeah. just starts rolling in. And he'll in. be straight up honest with you about everything. Sure. Everything yep. Yep. from great. the money nice. to, ev- I mean, everything. So Jay Horton is a great place to go for... For, to look his inside, his yeah, YouTube channel. He, he does a gr- he does great videos for <clears throat> his uh, for Film Hub and his experience on there on YouTube. Yes, if you he check does, him out. Yeah. You can find him. He'll I think I watched a couple. Yeah. yeah, there you go, brother. Exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's a yeah. guy. That's awesome. Yeah, so I would definitely look into that. Um, yeah, watch his thing on Film Hub. He does a. a he has got a video on YouTube about a ton of them. Yeah, a t- well, a f- yeah, several. Yep. But um, yeah, watch those on Film Hub because you'll get a really good idea of, of Film Hub. Yeah. Yep, I Appreciate think it's that, great. Yeah. Absolutely, buddy. Um, so, okay, so you, you, you shot this movie up here in Seattle. We did, yeah. Okay. We shot it in Seattle in 20, 2014 through 2020. Okay, so okay. Uh, explain the process of filming in the downtown streets of Seattle. And if you were like us, did you just steal those shots or did you work with the city? I work with the city. Oh, I shit. Got really? Oh, so, okay. you're a gangster. <laughs> you know, 30, it's a $30... Uh, Thirty, forty, forty dollar permit. I mean, oh nothing, really? Okay. Nothing too crazy. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, got the permit for, I think for everything we shot outside in the city. I mean, we didn't get permits for the establishing shots. Sure. Because um, that was, you know, it was just me with a camera. Mm-hmm. I didn't yeah. Worry sure. about that. But when we had actors, yeah, we always got permits. Okay, um, good for you. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. See, you already passed us. You, you probably ass. learned that in film school because I had no idea. We just go film <laughs> shit. We just we steal our shots. <laughs> don't fuck around. Well, so, if yeah, they I say mean, no, we steal them. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, you know, I, we certainly stole some things. I'm trying to yeah. think uh, what we stole. Uh, I feel like there's got to be something. Stole. <laughs> it's no probably fun like if you don't something. steal something. It's, yeah, it's great. You got to steal but yeah, the just the establishing shots probably were the slow ones. I hear Most you. the stuff, awesome. you know, we had permits for. Like okay. the stuff in the alley though. in Fremont. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, we had permits for all that. Okay. So. Good for you. Good, Good for you. For you. Well, the other yeah. thing I remember too, guys, is that he did, he, he, he shot a comedy. Yeah. A lot of dialogue. Yeah. yeah. We, we went for our permit, and I was talking to the city of Tacoma. We would have to get a permit. We'd have to get a, 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 a street shut down. We'd have to have... Um, yeah. Oh, the officers on insurance. site. Insurance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because bullshit. we wanted to run down the road with guns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. That's true. Yeah, right, right, right. yeah, you have yeah. to get... Action movie? Comedy. So yeah. what did, little, so what did we end up doing? Little Running down the streets with guns. Uh, guns? Yeah. 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 With, a, with an off-duty cop. Yeah, badass. That was no joke. Cops yeah. are coming. Put them on the ground. I loved it. Black man running from the cops. That's great. It was good. <laughs> what kind of props do you have? Oh, we have a gun. Oh, we have a diaper. I mean... Right. Yeah. Yeah, weigh that one out. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Good well, that's fun. Um, okay, so let's talk about your actors then for a second here. How did you? Oh, yeah. uh, how how did the casting go for you on this film? Because you, your acting core was was actually quite it's fucking good. So good. You know, they sell the story for you very yes. very well. So, what was your process of, of finding your your cast? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate yeah, that. I, I do think, yeah, like if there's one thing about this movie that I personally think is like really good, it's the acting. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah. I feel like this is, a, you know, a notch above what you usually see in, in like indie movies. Absolutely. No, no budget kind of indie movies. I think they're a notch above. Um, Asa, who's Man Baby, is theater actor. Um, okay. Sydney. Uh, all of them were kind of like theater actors. The only one that, the only one, uh, the mom, Alice Bridgeforth, she's she's done a lot of uh, film stuff. Okay. Uh, she was on like some Adult Swim shows. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, so they're all, I mean, they're all like main, mainly theater actors. Um, found them just doing auditions. Mm-hmm. Um, did, did a bunch of rounds of auditions just to try to like meet different actors. Um, after I met a bunch of actors and kind of thought they were the ones that I wanted, I re- I was also writing the script at that time too. So then I like rewrote a lot of the script like for the, for them, for them. Okay. in mind after I'd mm-hmm. watched them act and stuff. Gotcha. Um, yeah, they're all like really really awesome. Yeah, they're um, great. Asa Asa is kind of like a you know kind of a theater guy in his own right. Like he produced. Uh, play a couple of years back. Um, he worked real extensively with Ghostlight Theatrical yeah. in Ballard. Oh wow! Um, Sydney, Sydney worked with um, the uh, Seattle or Jet, I think Jet City Improv or I'm not sure. I'm probably getting that wrong. Some some improv group where okay. she, was, okay. she was a pretty big player. Um, and yeah, improv was a big part of it. Yeah, obviously. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Um, yeah, you can yeah. tell. 
You could tell. Well, beautifully made movie. Yeah, it's great it, job. Great it's, job. It's、Tim. super fun. I don't know how you film、yeah. some of that shit. What, what was the set like? Were you guys laughing、okay. your asses off when? You <laughs> I know. Like,、Because、how did you not、dying. laugh and die? <laughs> yeah. No, it's funny. I think somebody. Somebody had said that. Some reviewer had said,、uh, you know, don't, I don't like it very much, but it looks like they had a lot of fun making it. Yeah. And I said wrong. And I was like wrong again. Because <laughs> it was not that much fun. Really?、Oh. Was it harder than it was? It's fun? hard work making movies. Yeah. It no, is. it is. Just, it's hard. And it is. You know, we had, we did. We had a lot of laughs. We had a lot of fun. But you know, the most fun that I have is then when it's done, and I'm、yes. in the editing bay with the editor. Yeah. And me and Joe are kind of we have a lot of fun. We were cracking jokes and、nice. la- laughing at the actors and、nice. laughing at all the mistakes <laughs> that I've made. And that's、uh, that's our that's my fun. Please do the, a blooper reel. Please、yes. do a blooper reel. We don't. It's actually you know we don't have one. It's not、What? you know because we had such limited time shooting. You know, it was like kind of like go 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 go. You know,、yeah. go 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 all、yeah. the time. It was like, you know, and I'm, you know, again, like I'm kind of a perfectionist, and I、okay. and I'm trying to get things right, and I'm doing a lot of takes, and so I don't have a lot of time to to fuck around. Right. So would you say、People、your are, set is more like a serious set as opposed to like a super like fuck off fun set? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, that's a great question, no, Sam. I, I, I get mean, it. I, I totally wonder, get what you're saying. I wonder. I get what you're saying. <laughs> I, I just feel like a big part of my job on set was to stop fucking, like to stop、yeah. people from fucking around,、mm-hmm. trying to get everybody on task. Which is hard because it's a comedy,、um, so that's got to be is, hard. Yeah, it's true. It's yeah, true. It's that, true. It is that tough. That would be a challenge. It's, it's it's tough to strike that balance, but、yeah. I think you know I think for the most part we did that. I think it it wasn't too it wasn't serious. It wasn't a yeah. Yeah. when I say I didn't have fun shooting it. That's not true. I had I, a lot of fun shooting it. Everybody was great. It was it was fun. And it was funny,、um, but, but you tried to was, have like control of the atmosphere and the situation, and well, and it's just it's just long hours, and yeah. It's just like and and just like, I mean, doing ten takes of something again and again and again is、yeah. not fun for anyone. No, it's fun for the actors. <laughs> yeah, Sam, Sam understands. Oh that. God, can't, I can't, can't do it. I don't act anymore because of that. Yeah, I can't, can't do, do it.、Yeah. I can't do it. Fuck、yeah. that. Yep. Like I'm not doing take twenty five. Nope. Yeah, and I mean I don't th- I don't think、Sam. we got into the twenties. Like I don't think it was like twenty. Like I think、oh, well, our ratios. Oh well, that's me because were... I'm not a great actor. So. <laughs> I mean our our ratios are pretty good, but you know. Still, like when you get into like the fifteen, eighteen takes, like, yeah, you're like, you know, it's、uh, just, yeah, everyone is、know. like,、uh. I'm a, I'm a weird director, Tim,、uh, because I know what I, I honestly know when we got the shot, and I,、mm-hmm. and everybody says, oh, let's do one more for safety, and I'm like, that's so.、Stupid. We don't need one more. I, 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 I just, I can't, I still can't wrap my head around. Even last night, last we night, somebody's、it. like, hey, can I get one more for safety? And I'm like, it's like, I, I know、sure? what we got. If he hit record, we fucking got it. Mm-hmm. I know it. I know it. It's not like I'm not paying attention,、mm-hmm. and I, for some、mm-hmm. reason, I've, I've had all the years of me since I was a little kid watching fucking movies, I know how to watch a movie. I know what I'm looking for. He knows when he gets the shot. He you, knows. You know、it. what I mean? And、so、he'll I, be like, I literally only do other takes <laughs> if, in fact, someone flubs a line, or if some weird noise happens, or you know, if someone is desperate to want to do another one because they didn't like what they did. They didn't feel、mm. good about it. That's the only、right. time I want to do it. So if no one says anything, I'm like, fuck it, that's it. Let's move on. Yeah, I, I swear to God. I so swear safe to God. measure is a waste of time. It, it, <laughs>、right、sometimes it can be, but you know, at this level, I think since we're doing micro budget films, it's like we don't have to worry about the time as much. Right. You know right. what I mean? And I do just because most of the people so far we've been working with, which is great talent up here. For some reason, they're volunteering their time with us、yeah. because they like. Not for some reason, for the opportunity well, to work with such an amazing production company. <laughs> yes, that's a quote, damn it, from one we, of our but actors. But we want to pay these people, and that's we want to pay them. So not only are they showing us that hey, we love what you guys are doing, but we ain't gonna do it for free all the time, motherfucker. You know, that's I think that's where they're at.、Yeah. But they really love what we're making, yeah. and yeah. They, and they're still finding a way to work with、mm. us, and that's cool. So it's our job to find the fucking money to pay them. On our next、mm-hmm. one, does that make next sense? Next time, yeah. Yeah, because I don't want to keep asking. Hey, you know, can you come and do one more for us? Because we suck. We Which and they probably would,、anywhere. but that's like they would, but it's it's level so level. fucked. It's so fucked. I don't would, care if we、yeah. can pay them two hundred bucks a day or whatever their the SAG minimum is. Whatever it is, at least give them something. 
Yeah. yeah. For their day. Yeah. yeah. You know, and so far time. you can get with a bag of peanuts and a bottle of water. I yeah. Mean, I, you, I know. you know, I feel bad. I'm like, I can give you, you know, the six bucks to pay the toll. When we you can order over. a pizza. <laughs> it's so or bad. Give you a beer. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm getting to the point where it's almost starting to get embarrassing. So after <laughs> this year, we need to find a way to pay people. True. No yeah. more bullshit. No more fucking around. If we can't fucking pay them, we got to figure out how to film the fucking movie on our own. Literally, though. That's it. I mean, that's where you get, yep. you know, you can only take so much from people for free. Yep. And then you got it. And especially talented people and yep. all the people that we work with are so talented. They're so good. Effing and they're talented so wonderful. That, yeah, yeah you, you want to pay them. You want so bad to pay them, but yeah. you can't. So and they're and they're gifting their time to us and they're gifting yeah. their talent to us, but it's worth something and it's worth it something to us. It it's is worth something to them. So yeah. you want to pay them, and that's which, what and that's hard. Yeah, and that's why I always put so much effort when we're we're in post production to make it look and sound and feel as and best good as possible. best it can because at least they got something they can show off for a minute, get they their name try. out there put more. Put it on their reel. But it's like fuck, that's all I got right now. Guys. I know. Hang in there though. Is, yeah. yeah, we can't pull yeah. this off. I'm not gonna bug you anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was one of the yeah. things that always got me. Is we had we had two talents sitting at a kitchen table as we were getting ready to film something, and he said, and, and, and one of our main talents said, "I will always do something with these guys, whatever their budget is, because of who they are and how they do it." I know, and, and I was it's like, "It's the nicest thing. It's, it's the sweetest so thing. So nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's great to hear. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Uh, and I'm oh, like, hey, do you want me to fluff you after?" <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt. Like, no problem. I got Honestly, you. Honestly, though. I mean, that's a collaborator. You know, that's yes. not that's not a hired person. That's somebody who's making the art with you. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's what we're trying. It. Yes, exactly. That's what we're trying to do anyway. We're and, trying to build a family, a collaboration. And that's what we're doing. But at the same time, There's we all are trying things. to make money. Yeah, it's a business side. We got yeah. to get that We going. have to pay our bills. We have yeah. to, because our goal yeah. is to make money making movies too, just like Jay fucking Horton. Yeah. Right. You know, don't, don't, you don't fuck around. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so yeah, yeah we, we had a five year plan. COVID kind of fucked that up, but yeah. COVID you know, turned it into an eight year plan. I'm not fucking around with timing anymore. <laughs> we know when we lock a movie, we need to get it out. Whether if it's a YouTube mm -hmm. thing, because we're trying to monetize our, our channel, yeah. or if it's uh, mm -hmm. a feature and we know where we can go, where we can shoot it up on Film Hub, get it, give it a chance in about a year to start making some money. I mean, yeah. all those assets are there. There, everything yeah. is there we need. Yeah. Every, every All the technology, you yeah. know. If, so if we can't find a budget I love it. to pay people a yeah. few for a few days of their time, mm -hmm. we shouldn't be doing this. I mean, really. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean really. After, at a certain point. I yep. think that we've been in it to the point where we're kind of getting there. To and that we point where we need yeah. to start paying people for it's a process. their time and stuff. But yeah. as of now, we're just, I mean, we're still like doing the end of a movie that we're doing that we know we can't get paid on because it's a Michael right. Myers fan film. But right. it can monetize it, right. our we, channel we, though. We right. But it right. can it can boost us in the way that we can get subscribers and yes. we can yeah. so there's a there's a method to it. Yes, to our is. madness. It's just time. <laughs> yeah. But we have all these people giving we'll get there. gifting Absolutely. us their time and gifting us their talent to make right. this happen. But they're happy to do it. So that's the kind of thing. If you create the atmosphere where people are happy to work with you for free, it's yeah. not really free. I mean, if we're all doing this together, it's not free. I mean, we're all going to get something out of it. Yeah, it's for sure. the love of, of, the, of the art. Love of the craft. Yeah. Love, of the game. Yeah. love of the game. Love for of the game. Sure. Ooh, dude, that's the title of the show right there. Love of the game. <laughs> that's the title. But it is it is definitely, there's a process and there's, there's something there. There that is. You got to... You got to kind of follow. And there yeah. is a point where you can't just take people's time for free or their no. talent for free. You have to start, sure. you know, you have to start paying them. So yeah. getting to that next level is kind of where we're trying to figure out how to get. Yeah. 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 And Tim, yeah. I know, I know you understand what we're saying. And I know that I with your man, I baby movie, that's, that's where you're going to get to. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I really like some of the things you said about how in, in, pre-production where you were in your head mm -hmm. figuring out mm -hmm. why the story was important why you wanted to tell it and who would like it yeah i mean that's yeah. that's yeah. that alone sets the foundation for success for your film yeah i honestly do and i can tell you smart. that from experience of not doing that and you're smart for having that niche immediately like you knew yeah. the niche that you were looking for or that you were you were going to have yeah and that, yeah and if you i'm gonna went make with that 
yeah if i'm gonna make anything again it's 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 gonna have that yeah it's gonna have that uh that hook that's that a brilliant way yeah i don't think i'm gonna make anything again that doesn't have that you yeah. know i'm always gonna have something you know looking forward to the future you know anything that i make i'm always gonna have something where yeah you it's got a, a built-in audience yeah. it's got people it's got people searching for it on google whatever that right. might be right. i mean that's kind of the 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 horton guy thing right that's yeah. right yeah. all those documentaries yep those are weird things that people are searching for they're right. they're mysteries mm -hmm. um you know, my one of my favorite directors of all time, I don't know about y'all, is, is Stanley Kubrick. Mm -hmm. And um, when people think about Kubrick movies, they don't necessarily think about like big commercial movies. They're kind of artsy. But if you look at all his movies, they all, have, well, I, I guess maybe not Barry Lyndon, but all, all his movies have that, um, an element of like, uh, yeah, that niche, that, yeah. that, that thing that's like, like, oh, I gotta see that. Like, yeah, yeah. exactly. That people are yep. searching for all, yep. all of them have yep. that. Yep. Whether it's horror with Shining or yep. uh, 2001 with the, the sci-fi. Yeah. I yep. mean, you've got yeah. you've got yeah. it. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was going for when I did my documentary. Oh, fuck, full was, metal I was jacket. Looking... I keep forgetting the full metal oh, jacket. Oh, full metal that's jacket. Yeah, amazing. It's fucking great. Um, but yeah, that's where I was going when I was made my documentary. Was I was going for that niche and Chuck, too. Yeah. When you yeah. Well, when yeah, you're mine was unintentional. Well, but there is a niche. There. But you've got an audience for yeah, a faith based film. Yeah. You already that's, know that's that. true. Yeah, it's it's locked. It's that's locked. Yeah, Sam's mm -hmm. too. Yeah. You know, yeah, documentaries faith, and faith nature. Thing is a faith based thing is huge, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Yep. There's a huge audience for that, and not that not that that was your intention, Charles, but that's what ended up happening was that you had that that group of people that to to present that to yeah right that that you know will enjoy it that you know will watch it that you know will be there yeah well the screenplay i'm oh, yeah. writing right now for next time we do a feature after say goodbye is specifically set for 80 male 80s guys guys who grew up in the 80s like me so 40 to 50 year olds here you go <laughs> yeah that are badass so the stranger things body. no no the guys the who like johnny from cobra kai they're gonna oh, love the my fucking my script yeah they're gonna love it love it badass dudes you know, we don't have any. Nostalgia's we don't have them big. anymore. We don't have them Nostalgia's anymore. And I want them. Big. I want them back. I want them to save them. <laughs> I do. What do you mean we don't have them anymore? We got plenty of them. No, we don't have enough of them anymore. They're too scared to talk, but they're there. What? You know, the guys that are badass when they walk down the street and they're cool. You know, no one, no guys are cool anymore. We got to bring back cool guys. Yeah, but you're talking about Aaron, you're, you're talking the about only guys. One. You're, you're, you're the talking about guys one. who were cool in the '80s. The guys now are in their fifties. They don't look no, cool. No, no. But the kids nowadays are going in a different direction. I want to, I want to bring those guys back a little bit to keep a balance. We got to have a balance. You know, that's just like karate kid. You got to have balance. Yeah. Yeah, you got to like this. It. You know it's what I like mean? About, it's kind of like about me. It's like man, baby. It's like um, yes, yeah. Masculinity yes. in crisis. <laughs> yes. yes, that's what I'm saying. Yes. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. That's what's cool about it. Yeah, Aaron, you're such yeah. a man, baby. I am a man. <laughs> we can bring it back though. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Oh man. All right. So, things. Tim, what, what, any future? What's your future projects that you're thinking? Not just future with man, projects. baby, but do you have anything on the table you're working on or thinking? Uh, about? I mean, the big, the big future is man, baby. The big future is getting the screening off August 17th, seven o'clock. You know, trying to trying to make this a big success, and then. I don't know if I mentioned free show in Portland. Oh, well, that's, I don't think it is. That's in the future. Free show. Awesome. August, August 20th. So th 20th. there's a free show in Portland. So okay. it's August 17th, big show. August 20th, the free show down in Portland. Okay. Um, and then 26, 27 in LA. Um, Q and A's at all those, and it's gonna be fun. I guess like, you know, I'm I'm kind of writing something. I, I'm always trying to write something with like the actors that I have in mind. Okay. Um, so people that I have, and uh, so I have a I have a guy that I'm kind of working with in my head. He doesn't know that I'm <laughs> writing for him. That's cool. Though. Um, but I'm yeah, writing thinking a, about writing a movie you. By, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, writing a movie by ESP. So, oh shit! Uh, cool. Thinking about that, like some mind control stuff. Ooh. I love it. Yeah, just playing with that, and yeah. So we'll see. We'll see if that's a comedy or what that is. I, I feel like I want to try to do something more serious. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll just have to see. So what nothing set in stone yet for your no, future definitely, plans. No, definitely, de definitely nothing set in stone. Just, okay. just you Push, know, piecing together ideas, pushing man, together. baby. All right. Yeah, just pushing man, baby. I, well, I know that's not the right answer. I know I'm supposed to have something right away. Oh no! no, no, no. Oh, yeah, I got this. Actually, Everyone always what? asked me that when I did GPO, and I was like, "What are you doing um, next? Not yet. Uh, yeah, I don't taking know. a nap? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I just finished the yeah, movie. Give I'm me a minute. Taking a fucking Christ. nap. Okay, but let me let yeah. me assist with something here though. So you said that um, there are tickets available for Man Baby in Seattle. 
Yeah, there's so tickets available. Make sure um, when you tell that story about when it's coming up next for you and you say, you know, August 17th, sell it. What, where? How, how the fuck do I get a ticket? Ah, you want a ticket? To, well, yes. you get a ticket August 17th. Uh, you can go to our website, manbabymovie.com. You can click on tickets and you can get a ticket there. Man you can just. Movie.com. I think at, at this. Yeah, per, thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, you can really just Google Man Baby. Uh, I get Central weird Cinema. shit. I get weird shit when I you Google weird. Man Baby. <laughs> I want to Google it right now. Hold on. Okay, I'll Google it. Google too. It. Yeah. Right, try Google Man that. Baby. Man Baby Central Cinema, maybe. You don't okay. just do Man Baby. Well, man Baby Central Cinema. Okay, let's Cinema. let's start. Let's let's do it in in, in phases here. Increments. Let's just do man, <laughs> man Baby. Baby. Let's see what you get. Do Look you at get, this. Okay, there. Ooh, there's a Man Baby movie back in 2006 too. But your movie actually comes up. Nice. Fucking first. Right away. Man first Baby. 2022. No Look at that. Shit. Right on top. Hey, yep. you did something right. Hour and 34 minutes with Look the at trailer. Him. Good nice. for you, buddy. Good for you're you. Good. You're That's good. Awesome. Yeah, you're good. That's awesome. So Google Man Baby, it comes yeah. right up. Yeah. One word, Man Baby. So yeah, it is. It's going to be at Central Cinema. I don't know if y'all have been to Central Cinema in the Central okay. District in I Seattle, not, but no. it is. It is Seattle's best movie theater. It's where is they it play. Really? Uh, I've heard the that. Room. Have you watched the Room? Yeah. Tommy Wiseau's The Room. Yes, that's where have. they play it here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, they do a lot of like sing-alongs. They do a lot of uh, old, you know, Plan Nine from Outer Space. And it's a perfect venue for you. Then. Perfect venue for me. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, sure. that makes sense. That makes sense, buddy. Um, that's great. Fuck, dude! It's an absolute pleasure. You're you're a good you're a great filmmaker. I gotta yes. tell you, um, yeah, the the film is fantastic. The story unique. That. The acting's great. Production value is great. I mean, like we said, it's it's a fun movie. But you did a hell of a job. Yeah, you did. Yeah, Thank you, you did. Thank and, you. And, I'm and glad you guys job. had fun. Yeah, we did. We did. We did. did have, you have we had like a, a, a time. I, I guess, Aaron, you liked the ending. I love the Sam, ending because it brings. Sam, I, did you have a favorite part? Did you have a thing that stuck uh, out to you? You know, mm. I. I told you what I loved. I loved how you keep, yeah. how you kept me in there after, like, when at first, when I had that feeling of, gosh, this is, like, interesting. This is, so this nice. is yeah. weird. Yeah. This is tacky. This is, you know, and, uh, yeah, all these things in them, but you kept me in there. That's what I loved about it. That's what I loved. Yeah. Because I didn't want to stop watching it. And normally with those feelings, I would want to stop, like stop. <laughs> the, the weird <laughs> like, thing for me at too. At first, you yeah, know, the... so that was, to me is like, and that might sound insulting, but it's such a compliment coming from me because she I am. No, she doesn't know. She sucks watch, watching movies. She will dip on a movie. Though. I don't. She will so dip. coming from me, that is such a compliment. For you to have me till the end is amazing because I don't watch movies that much. And when I do, like for something to hold on to me like yeah. that is it's it's incredible. So will, you don't understand the compliment. I will, I will vouch me. for her on but that. Yeah, that's Literally. my favorite part because it was it was interesting enough and amazing enough and I, it had me. It have my attention i will vouch for her buddy literally last week we were watching something i can't remember what it was she watched almost all of it oh that was the prey that was the no no, no. you fell asleep on that one <laughs> yeah i know but you you did you did wait that was that, that was, was the other good. night yeah no you liked it but last week we were watching like almost i can't remember what the fuck we were watching she watched almost the entire movie she got up and left like with 10 oh, minutes yeah. left yeah. and had no idea how it ended and i'm like what I didn't really and care. And he was like, where did our daughter go? So where did mom go? I'm like, I don't know. But don't she, she, she just, just left. <laughs> she left. She, she didn't give a fuck where the story. I and I think really you like the movie. But it's like, she can just disconnect. She yeah. watched all of your film. Yes, all of it. Till she the very end. Yeah, yeah. Which, Which is, is amazing. Yeah, it is Aaron, amazing. Aaron, Aaron and I have always had a general rule. 15 minutes. You know, you give a movie right. 15 minutes. If, if, you, if it doesn't grab you by then. unless 15 minute rule. Honestly, right? minute yeah. Rule. Unless, yeah. I'm, I have that rule too. Unless it's one of our friends. We'll give them the benefit of a doubt. Yeah. Okay, you got a lot. You got a lot of art intro here. Okay, uh-huh. we're gonna we're gonna let this float out a little bit more. Yeah, but fifteen minutes. Sam has like a two and a half minute mark. She was like, <laughs> okay, okay, I don't fucking. Yeah, true. if your credits are two minutes long, you're fucked. If the phone if the phone is up <laughs> within the first true. two and a half minutes, she won't stay in the room. Nope. Eventually, nope. eventually no, she'll leave. This is how it goes. I'll start a movie with my phone. I'll be playing my games. If the movie grabs me away from my phone, you'll put that's phone amazing. Down. I'll put yes. my phone down and I'll watch the movie. And Which that's you what did you with did Tim's. with yes. Tim's. Yes, yes. that's did. what that's what happened. Yep. Uh, really phone. weird sounding fucked up way of saying <laughs> wow good job yeah you know no, what's you know what's funny tim about man baby just one more thing i i it was the only movie i've seen recently where i i didn't really like the protagonist or the other character that was the second lead they it, it kind of like i didn't i didn't like where how he was kind of spoiled 
and I and I didn't like her attitude about him, <laughs> if, if that yeah. makes sense. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. their dynamic together was just like I don't know who I'm rooting for here because I yeah. see both sides of this. But then I see him doing what he's doing, and I'm like, oh, what a dick move. And then I see her, and I'm like, God, she's being a bitch though. That's what's cool about it. Is yeah, that, that does that make sense? Yeah. So it so, made it feel yeah. more real. Yeah. Well, and that's what makes the ending so fucking. Cool. Yeah. That's what I loved about well, the end. And I love him going because to the there's actually a love story there. Okay, if well, that makes sense. Okay, I do have a yeah, favorite yeah. favorite part. Yeah. Okay, okay. so yeah. when he goes to the other chick. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> funny. Who that's like funny. that's the best part to me because when he goes to that other chick who digs him for the help. his ex girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's badass. Yeah, that's cool. That's, that's a fun that's my part. Favorite. That's Upload a new code. I gotta watch it. Yeah, spoiler alert. All right, so no more spoilers, but it's still yeah. good though. It's no, still. that is yeah, um, that's good. Absolutely. That's what had me like awesome. full on that's attention awesome. right at that point. Like I was like, oh, he's going to the girl. Yeah, oh, <laughs> he's going. He's asking for help from yeah. this. <laughs> it's, I it's, love it. It's fun. Yeah, um, it I appreciate. I appreciate these kind words. You know, yeah. for me, it's like if somebody just watches it and is not on their phone, like that, I'm satisfied. Right. Badass. I, I hear <laughs> that's you. all you can really ask for nowadays. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. So I hear the fact you. that you actually enjoyed it, you took the ride, you went all the way to the end. Like, yeah. that Seriously. Just makes me feel great. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, if. I think, yeah, this it, it, it's a little bit of a hard sell to some people because yeah. a lot of people don't like these kind of movies. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it's low budget. There's there's a lot in the there's a lot in the negative category or in the you know there's a lot there's a lot of things going against it. Understand, but that. I think, but I think like like what you did, you sat there, you took mm -hmm. the 90, 93 minute ride. Yeah, um, you won't be disappointed. No, you, you know? won't. No, you won't. No, it it'll it'll get you one way or another. No. You'll feel something. Right. And if, if you hang in there to the end, I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. It well, really it'll does. It you really will does. hang in there. If you start it, if you start it, you'll hang in there because it grabs you. Yeah. It's yeah. something about it just grabs you. And you're just like, I'm not sure about this, but I want to keep watching it. It's a, it's a beautiful <laughs> bow. That's awesome. Though. The, the bow on it's, the end is it's, fantastic. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's very interesting. Everybody's talking about fetish films and grabbing each oh. other. I'm getting a little uh, excited here. Oh, well, <laughs> should we we're end fluffing this him right, right here? No, we're fluffing. Yeah, we're going to end it. End the show now. I'm getting out of here. I'm not sitting <laughs> not in the studio now. with Chuck. Le Le Leo, come here. Oh, no. Speaking of Leo. fetish films. The I only say that we... because he keeps rolling over farther and farther and I know, taking he's over on my leg feet. space. He was on my feet. Now Leo, he's on your Leo's feet. in the studio. That's our dog. Too. Chuck, Le Chuck, are you the guy who does the drops on the show? Is because I know there's like drops that I've heard. Like there's clapping, and I feel I feel like we missed out. Like there were no there were no. Uh, oh no, oh, that's all post. So, yeah, I'll be there. That's all post. Production. I got you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, th I thought you did those live. Yeah. No, okay. no, I do the subliminal messaging <laughs> within the show. One day when our show our show does is doing very well. But one day, I hope that we can have all the gear that we want so I can do so all that shit live. So we can do it live. live. Yeah, I would yeah. love for you to so experience I, it. I was like, why don't I get the drops? Oh, you, <laughs> you will. You They'll will. be there. They'll when be you, there. Trust you'll me. have to go back right and on, listen right to your show. You'll they love will it. Be there. They will be there. <laughs> you'll get all the shit. Yeah, this is an indie right podcast. <laughs> right on. Right <laughs> well, we're getting there. We don't have the, yeah, we don't have the cool shit. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but we're good. Yeah, Tim, it's, it's an awesome. absolute pleasure, buddy. Thank you yeah, for so much fun to meet y'all. I yeah. really hope uh, you can come on the seventeenth or be uh, awesome. in Portland, whatever. It'd be yes. awesome to see you in person. Yes. Yeah, it would. Yeah. It would. Welcome man. to the Around the Real family, Tim. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. And thank you for sharing Actually, your film with us. Sounds like it's he's fantastic. been a family for a while. He's one, it sounds like he's a, a loyal listener. He is a listener. Yeah. Yep. So you've been yep. family. Yeah. So we're gonna be one of his fans and watch his movies too, because not everybody watches our shit but wants to be on the show. Right. Yeah. It's true. It's true. It's true. I go, people get here. I'm okay. like, you seen the Outrider? They're like, nah. No. I'm like, well, oh, fuck no. you. You ever listen to the show? No. Let's no. light them up. Have you seen GPO? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Funny. Send me send me, send me, the latest. Oh, for sure. for sure. Yeah, we should watch something. That we, have a, we have a screener of Sam's film. Sam, yeah. if you want to send him yeah, a sweet report. Yeah, I'll it, send it, that It should you. be releasing on Tubi in the next month or two. Um, but uh, should be, It should be releasing within weeks, going off the time frame of when they accepted it. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it will be, but I'm I'm going to make a big We already had our screen. Which yeah, did we did our really showings. Well. They were really yeah. well at our fucking premieres. Were, it was yeah. great. People loved premieres. it. Standing ovation premieres for Sam. Screener. How about that? In in Tacoma, y'all did it in Tacoma. Yeah, we yeah, did we two did. in Tacoma. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. two at Tacoma right Little Theater, and then Ocean Fest hosted um, Ocean her, Fest, yeah. her documentary as part of their event. Yeah, yeah for that sweet. weekend event, it was sweet. great. It was great. And where, do, where do you screen in Tacoma? What theater did you screen in Tacoma? Uh, we Tacoma Little Theater. Yeah. Tacoma Little Theater. Yeah, we've Tacoma went to a theater. few, but that Which, one we did Tacoma Little Theater. We yep. did two showings there. Um, nice. That venue is awesome. The dude down there Good is venue. just great. Yeah, he's fun yeah. to work with, and and they're 
they're they're just great. And I mean, and it's the Ocean affordable. Fest was held at the Grand. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. The Grand Cinema in Tacoma oh, downtown. Grand yeah. Cinema. Both yeah, of them yeah, are great. Yeah, that's a great. Yeah, that's yeah. a cool little cool. spot too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know, we've been lucky, but you know, a lot of people came out, man. I mean, we had two sold out. Oh, one sold out showing. Oh, the second one was almost sold out. Right. Nice. And Ocean Fest was bigger than I thought it would be. That was yeah. fucking crazy. We had okay. no idea who was going to show up for that, and that place was pretty much packed. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's cool as nice. shit. Yeah. So. It's been good. And the Blue response. Mouse is also a great Tacoma um, venue that we've used. Yes. Yep. Love Blue Mouse. Yep. Yeah, yep. it's fun. That's some old school shit, though. Yeah. I love it there. It's, it's very, fun. yeah. It's very nostalgic. Yep. yep. When I was a kid, that was, you know, a $2 movie. You can go there for 2 bucks, yeah. watch a movie. Uh, like Blade Runner. Love I saw it. Blade Runner there back in the day. <laughs> nice. I did. I did. Very when I was cool, a kid. Though. Yeah but, yeah, but back then, that's the movies when they were new out was only four dollars. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. much of a saving. <laughs> yeah. It's two bucks though. But yeah, we, yeah, we have now. some, we have some good venues around here, and yeah. in Seattle, you guys got some good ones too. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Oh man, Tim was a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, very, it's been very so much. great, guys. So Send much me that fun. Stuff. I really, really a lot of fun. Don't worry, Appreciate you'll your get time. your canned audience. We'll, yeah. we'll give you that. We'll get you yeah. in there. Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> and uh, episode will be released cool. very soon. I want people to hear this because you, you had a lot of good things to say yeah, about you, your film yeah. and just filmmaking in general. Mm-hmm. So thank yeah. you for sharing yourself. Yeah. Your knowledge, buddy. I appreciate yes. it. I didn't thank get to you. talk to you about you. too many adult films, like 8 millimeter and shit. I know, like we want to talk about We'll have to just do like a porn episode. Oh, for sure. We have to do a porn episode. Yes. That's fucking great. Adult film history with Tim Lytle. Yeah. No, that'd be fun because we don't know anyone who's done that before. So that would be amazing. No, we need to do that. Seriously. We need to do that because I want to, I'd love. Let's schedule it after after August. Fuck yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Sometime in the fall. We're all about it. Yeah. That's good. Just when we're all getting warm and cozy, we're going to cozy up to the fire and talk about. Awkward Porno. fetish porn. It's good. <laughs> That's it's awesome. Good. It's good. I love it. That's Super fine. Fun. All right, Chuck, you want to close this out for me? Tim, thank you for joining us today on Around the Real. Thank you for uh, opening up your story of your seven to eight year journey to create a di- giant man who walks around in a diaper, uh, which is something I look forward to actually watching once I get a code that's not expired. But still, it's been a wonderful experience talking to you, my friend. Um, I can't wait to actually get a chance to watch your film and instead of just talking about you know the generality of it I because it. It I didn't good. get a chance Sam to watch it. it. And yeah. if you kept Sam... That's a that is a bigger that is a bigger something. thing than you realize. <laughs> yep. Um, Sam Sam would, Sam walked out of my movie while we were making it, and she was in it. But yep. still, um, just off of going off of that, Tim, thank you for joining us on the real. Thank you for spending your time with us. Thanks for a cup of coffee and a conversation. And everybody out there, remember, think hard because you're thinking anyway. See Bye. everybody later. Bye. Thanks, guys. For those of you that want to be a guest on Around the Real, please email Sam at Around the Real two five three at gmail.com that's around the real 253 at gmail.com not messenger do not message Aaron on messenger because then he has to send you a message that says email Sam at around the real 253 at gmail.com that's around the real 253 at gmail.com how come they can't just message me again because nobody wants to fucking talk to you <laughs> can anybody reach out that's an artist filmmaker actor if you're an artist of any kind we want to hear from you but we are going to vet the crap out of you. We don't care if you make millions of dollars in Hollywood or if you're just beginning your career in the art industry. We don't care. So everybody that wants to be on Around the Real, yes, we want you. That's Around the Real 253 at gmail.com.